There's a place on earth where it rains fish. Every year in Honduras, the small town of Yoro sits under a sky that rains nothing but fish. It's called the rain of fish, and scientists are still trying to figure out why it happens. And while we have some theories about why this happens, scientists are still not 100% sure. A farmer named Saul Gassman was working in his field when he saw dark clouds billowing in the distance. Soon, his field was flooded with rainwater, and then the most incredible thing happened. Hey there, if you're enjoying the content and want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's free, and it really helps the channel grow. Plus, you'll never miss out on new uploads. Thanks for the support. Thousands of tiny fish appeared, swimming around in the water. The people of Euro have been dealing with the annual fish rain for centuries, and it's definitely a memorable experience. Just ask Father Jose Antonio, who witnessed the fish rain in 1675. He described the scene in a letter to the Spanish crown, writing, I have seen with my own eyes thousands of fish of various kinds which fell from the clouds and were gathered in the market square in the church courtyard. Saul and his workers quickly realized that the fish were coming from the sky. They were literally raining down from the clouds. In May 2019, a storm rolled through Europe, and for three hours, the town experienced a deluge of over eight inches of rain. But the most peculiar part of the downpour was that it was full of fish, thousands upon thousands of them. The small town was completely inundated with fish. People were wading through them, up to their knees. Another possibility is that the fish are actually rained in, so to speak, when water from the Gulf of Honduras evaporates and forms clouds. As the water vapor condenses, it forms the perfect environment for small fish to live and grow. When the clouds get too heavy, the fish are essentially rained back down to earth. There were so many fish, they were basically falling from the sky. Some of the fish were even longer than Saul's hand. At first, he thought the fish might have been blown in by strong winds. But he soon realized that wasn't true. The fish were alive and well, just very, very wet. They were also completely unharmed, with no injuries or signs of distress. This strange event is actually not that rare, it happens almost every year, though not always in the same place. In 2017, National Geographic reported on another fish rain, in a different part of Honduras. In total, they collected more than 100 fish from the water, most of them between 2 and 3 inches long. So, why does it rain fish in Honduras? One prevailing theory is that the fish are blown in by strong winds from the nearby Caribbean coast. While these theories make sense, they've been hard to prove. While the mystery remains, one thing is certain. The fish rain is a truly remarkable phenomenon that has left scientists baffled for years. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.